Nowadays, mobile games have become somewhat of a meme. They can be rather cool, but filled up with advertisement. You have to pay your college money to progress at least a little bit, or it takes an eternity to get to the good stuff. Luckily, I'm a game developer, so I can do whatever I want. No ads if you don't want them. Spending money doesn't make you stronger, and you have the complete game experience right from the beginning. In this video, I'll show you how I turned my browser game Spider-Doll into the mobile version. This wasn't as easy as you might expect. Most people probably think that I just need to press a button and the game can run on my smartphone, but oh, yeah, uh, you were right. But why did it took me so long to publish the app? Yeah, actually it wasn't that easy. I had two main issues. First, the controls were awful. You could only use one spider web and it just wasn't fun to play. Second, it was extremely laggy. So let's start by improving the performance. The game wasn't playable at all. I began by improving my scripts to use less resources. Great, that's what I wanted to do. I tried every trick I knew, but nothing helped. In this beautiful footage of my smartphone, you cannot see that the game runs on a maximum of 20 frames per second. And I already removed all the unnecessary stuff. So the last thing to remove was Spidey. Those three buildings and the carton were still too much for my phone. At this point, I just could have stopped. But that's not what we do here. Post-processing was still enabled. If you don't know what post-processing is, these are some visual effects that get rendered to the game, like the vignette effect. Generally speaking, it makes the game look better. So I removed it and hey, it worked. Without post-processing, the game runs on my phone effortlessly. So, I spent hours trying to optimize the game just to figure out that my phone just isn't capable of post-processing. Welcome to the life of a game dev. Now I just need to rework the swinging and the game is done. If I would try to explain you everything I've done, this video would take several hours, so let's keep it short. I programmed a lot, created strange bugs, programmed even more, and eventually it was done. Now you can just tap on the screen and Spy will swing automatically and releases the web after some time. Or you can hold down your finger to manually control the swing. You can use one finger or two fingers, one finger and your nose, one finger and your toe, two toes, three fingers. B but the third finger wouldn't do anything, so uh, yeah, that would be stupid. D don't, don't, don't do this. Whatever, swinging is fun now. Next I added this button so you can shoot. Once you pressed it, the next tab will be a shot. The button already was pretty pretty, but I prefer round buttons. That's why you get this ugly thing and um, yeah, it also shines green once you pressed it to indicate that you can shoot now. And since I really love to include a lot of unnecessary work, I deleted it again. Okay, to be honest, the button just didn't feel nice to use. So now you can shoot by just simply tapping on the enemies. This improved the game flow a lot and I'm very happy that I made this change. I wanted to add more skins, so I began by making the most beautiful and adorable spider doll character. Isn't he just cool and awesome? Oh wait, he kinda looks like me. What a coincidence. Okay, I made myself because you forced me to do so. In the last devlog you had the chance to vote for a new skin and uh, yeah, here you go. By the way, my German community had the same opportunity, so they decided to add a Steve skin from Minecraft. And my TikTok community wanted a Naruto skin. But that's not it. I also made Iron Doll. He shoots these little laser balls. My favorite skin is the Attack on Titan Doll, which even uses the 3D gear. And the last skin I want to show you took me forever to finish. Invisidol. Oh, <laughs> okay, it was just an April's Fool, but I kinda liked it so the skin made it to the final game. For all the new skins, I also needed to build a new menu. From now on, you can buy skins with spider coins. And I also made this fancy scrollable list so you can select the desired skin. Yeah, it looks kinda wack, but we can fix that. You can earn spider coins in the endless mode. The further you swing, the more coins you will get. I know, crazy, right? You probably haven't seen this before. 
I also added this little game over menu, which of course worked directly without any bugs whatsoever. You can see the amount of earned coins, you can restart the endless mode, go back to the menu or revive yourself by watching an ad. Besides this, there aren't any ads in the game, so <laughs> yeah, I probably won't be able to pay my bills with the ad revenue. But if you want, you can still support me. I added one more skin. Super epic skin that you can buy for $1 to show off, let's go! Yeah, if you want to, you can buy Golden Doll for $1. Or if you are really crazy, you can even buy some spider coins. Don't worry, you don't have to buy anything. I just want you to have a nice experience and a lot of fun with the game. And that's it. The mobile version is finally done. It has been on the Play Store for two weeks now and up to the point it was super successful. It even got into the charts and reached the 15th place. We also got over 45,000 downloads, which is just super epic. And what can I say? I wish the game was also available on the App Store. But to publish it for iOS, I would need a Mac and an Apple developer account for 100 bucks. I don't have any of these. So I bought an old Mac, where I couldn't install Xcode. Illegally downloaded an unsupported operating system. Installed it for hours. Installed Xcode. Bought a developer account. Uploaded Spider-Doll. Filled dozens of formulas. Edited the pictures in thousands of formats. Submitted the game. And got rejected. Because they didn't like my screenshots. So I remade them. And here we are. I know it's unbelievable about the app is also available on the App Store. At least if you have an iPhone with iOS 14.0 or higher. Apple didn't want me to upload anything else. Yeah, if you want to, you can now download the game. I hope you have fun with the app and that I see you in the next video. Bye. By the way, I also implemented a small easter egg. You can find all the different skins doing some weird dances. I wonder if anyone will find this.